Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Today we're going to be talking about cheap Chinese polishing pads and are they any good? Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Quick video today on cheap Chinese polishing pads. You can save a lot of money buying these pads, but the, the bottom line is, are they any good? And that's what I wanna talk about. So first up on eBay, there's a store called ZFE Stores, which is like a Chinese wholesale store, which sells a lot of kind of card detailing stuff, buffing pads, grit paper, you know, uh, drill bits, all those sort of tooling things. Now some of the stuff I wouldn't go near it with a barge pole, like that grit paper and that drill bits and, you know, tooling and stuff like that. Um, some of their tooling pieces, I wouldn't go near it because I've tried it and it's junk, okay? But polishing pads, okay, I, I've tried, I've been using these, these pads here for a couple of years and I've got a sort of somewhere centre ground opinion and I want to go through what I think of these. So first up, I'll put a link in the description to ZFE stores and if you go to that s store and search it for polishing pads, you will find a myriad, thousands of different types of pads. I mean, basically any pad that's been put on the market, these guys have kind of knocked it off. They've knocked it off legally, okay? They're not infringing copyright as far as I know. For example, a lot of people call these fake chemical guys hex logic pads, okay? Because they've got the hex logic treading them. Um, they're, not, they're not fake hex logic pads, okay? Chemical guys, as far as I'm aware, do not own the patent for the hex pattern in the foam, okay? So anybody can use that. I think what chemical guys have got a patent for is the gap between the backing plate and the, um, the foam being 50 millimeters. I could be wrong on that, but that's my understanding of it. So first of all, I don't think these Chinese pads that are available on eBay are breaking any patents. If they are, put that in the comments section because it's important, you know, because you want to you want to sort of, there's moral implications to buying this stuff, which we're going to talk about a little bit later on. So if you know of anything dodgy going on, let me know. But as far as I know, these pads are not breaking any legal patents. So the ones I've been using are these kind of um, ZFE HexLogic buffing pads, okay? Now the first thing to talk about these pads, okay, they are, you can, they have a range of different softnesses, okay? So I've got it written up there where you've got, you've got five pads in the range, okay? You've got that yellow pad, which is the heaviest one. You've got that orange one, which is like a medium cut one. The white for polishing, blue for light polishing, black for finishing. I think I've got that right, yeah. So they basically get softer all the way through, okay? Now you can buy a set of these, like the set of five, or a set of three, you know, I think they sell the orange, the blue, and the black. The set of three costs three pounds, okay? So you're paying a pound a pad for these five inch pads. Just be careful on the size. Make sure whenever you're buying pads, you check the size of the pad and the size of the Velcro fitment, okay? These five inch pads are listed as 125 millimeter pads, but the backing plate or well, the Velcro size on them is 110. It's quite hard to find a, um, a plate that will fit that. So if you go for the six inch pad, I think it will have 150 mil backing plates, Velcro size, which is much more standard. So whenever you're buying a size of pad, make sure you've got a plate that will support that pad reasonably well. You don't want a massive gap between the edge of the, the pad and the, um, where the plate finishes, or else you're not gonna be applying pressure around the edges, which is one of the high speed bits of the pad where you want that to be making good contact. So it's just something to be aware of. Now, what I would suggest to you is with these particular pads that, they, these are their hex ones. They have also copied every other style of pad known to man or beast. There's a CSS version of it. There's a sliced version of it where they've got the cuts in it. There is a waffle version of it. There's like a cone version with the hole in the middle. And they're all using the same type of foam, just kind of cut differently. So virtually any other pad out there, they have kind of done a version of it with that preset offering of foam, okay? So I'm just talking about the hex 
Apex Logic ones here. All the other ones are all similar price. They're all dirt cheap. Now what I would say to you, if you're gonna try these pads, the main difference between these and a premium pad, okay, in this particular pad, is that even their heavy, most coarsest cutting pad is very soft compared to the premium cutting pads that you see from the other manufacturers. So if you're gonna get cutting pads, get their most heaviest one, which they say is the ultra cut, totally aggressive, will move all the oxidization, use this for old, heavily damaged paint, you know, just that is too soft even for a cutting pad, okay? The ones I use are a lot stiffer than that, so get the yellow ones, and you could buy 10 yellow ones for 23 quid, which is two pound 30 a pad, okay? These orange ones, which are their medium ones, I find they start to get to the point where they are too soft um, to cut as effectively as some of these other pads. So that's the first big tip. If you're going, if you're going with their, their, their standard ones, to regardless of the tread, and you want a cutting pad, get the most extreme version of it, the yellow. Then with polishing, the white one is about where you need to be. It is, again, it's a little bit softer and lighter than some of the other pads, the premium ones. A bit more marshmallow is how I, I describe it. And that black finishing pad is actually really nice and light and soft and quite good, okay? So that's, that's the basics. The price, 10 of them for £23.97 to so £2.40 each roughly, including delivery. But they do some little ridiculous deals there where they do a bundle of them, three for three quid which suddenly the price drops right down. So there's, you can get these pads for as little as a pound each. When you think some of the other premium pads can be you know, anywhere between 10 and 12 pounds, that's the upper end. Some of them can be about eight pounds and there's some sort of guys that are offering some good deals where they may be around six or seven pound. But for a pound a pad, that's a fantastic price, okay? That's one of the biggest positives about going cheap Chinese. It's worth saying that most or a lot of these other pads are made in China as well. There's a couple of manufacturers, I think in the UK, there's a few in Europe, there's a couple in, I think in America, but a lot of pads that are coming from big branded companies as well are made in China. So the fact I'm describing these as, as Chinese made pads, it's just because it's the only way I know how to describe them because they're coming from some wholesale supplier that happens to be selling on eBay. Okay guys, so the next thing, the next pad that I want to draw your attention to on eBay from this ZFE stores. And I think they brand a lot of these pads as SPTA pads. And I've got no idea who this company are that's, that's selling them and making them and what, SP, what SPTA is. I don't even know if they make them themselves. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they were buying them off someone else, you know, and just flogging them over here. I don't know anything about that background, okay? But they do an offering now of this new kind of dual, um, dual foam pad where you have another layer of much denser, kind of more rubbery foam in between the, the Velcro backing plate and the soft foam which you're actually doing the work with. And for me, that is, or well, they say that's supposed to help with the feel of the, the pad on the paintwork. I can't, I'll struggle to notice any difference. But I think it might help with actually prolonging the life of the backing plate more. So I'm interested about that. The cool thing about this little bundle, okay, it's 10 quid for this little bundle. So each of these pads is about £3.50 and that includes delivery. Now normally these dual, dual core cone shaped ones with a hole in the middle are coming in at around, you know, typically around about 10 quid, something like that for this size of pad, which I believe is 150 mil um, pad surface and 125 mil Velcro plate surface. So it's pretty standard size, will fit, fit most of your uh, 125 mil plates. The one thing I wanna get across, out of all the cheap Chinese pads I've ever seen, that cutting pad, which is this blue one, to me, works really, really well. As soon as you feel it, it's different from these other ones here, where it's much more coarse, much more kind of thick, much more hard, and that's generally the type of format I like for the cutting pad, and they feel very, very similar to some of my premium cutting pads that I use from Lake Country and Rupes and, and those Hexlogic ones and some of those other pads that you pay a little bit more money for. And from playing around with these pads, they cut pretty well, okay? So it's £10.81 for these three pads, okay? So a cutting pad, a medium cutting pad, they say, and a fine finish polishing pad. I think they've actually, in their description, got it wrong, because they, they say orange is their heavy cutting pad and blue is their kind of light cutting pad. No way, this blue pad is the heavy cutting pad. It is a lot more coarse and a lot harder. This one, orange one, which they say is the heavy cutting pad, is soft 
and it's almost like a polishing pad and this red one is very soft okay so almost like a finishing pad I'm not, it's very fine it feels much more like a finishing pad for me I think I would probably um, use the orange to polish and definitely use the blue to cut um, one other really important thing about these pads, okay, as well as being able to buy three of them for a tenner, about 350 each, if you like one particular type of pad, and I do like the blue cutting pad, okay, they sell bundles of them, so you can either buy one for like 360, five for some amount of price that I don't know, I'll flash it up on the screen, or 10 for 28 quid, 28 pound 82. So that's actually two pound 80 a pad, Okay, so that is really, really good value when you compare it to other, other things. First of all, before I go into the negatives, I just want to talk about the positives, okay? And there's two simple positives with buying these cheap Chinese pads, okay? The first one is the absolute slap-bang obvious positive, and that is the price, okay? Now, you know, when you can pick up these pads for as little as a pound each in a bundle, and you can pick these up for £2.80 each. And you compare that to the premium pads where you will be paying around about eight to £10 for the same thing. That is a significant saving. And if you're using a lot of them and if they can deliver you results, then that price will draw people towards them to try them. And I also want people to try these pads. That's important. I'm interested in what you think about them. I'm going to go on to what I think is not quite right about them in terms of performance and maybe in terms of why you shouldn't buy them as well, because I want to keep this balanced. But first of all, that price is damn attractive, okay? Because some people get through a lot of pads. Some people are really tearing up their pads. They're having to compound you know, a lot of different things and really work their pads hard and go through a lot of pads. And that will make a significant saving for them, you know, when you're buying a lot of pads each month, you know, you're doing this professionally or whatever. So that's the first thing. The price is, is basically incredible, isn't it? Second thing, the results, okay? These pads work, okay? I can tell you now, you can cut paint with this coarse jewel cutting pad. It will work and it will cut. And I struggle. I struggle to notice the difference in how I'm able to cut paint with this blue SPTA dual foam cutting pad over some of my favourite pads that I, that I like and I will continue to use, continue to buy, give me really good results. But I struggle to notice any difference in cut between these pads because I think they've got the pore size roughly right, they've got the coarseness roughly right. And I know that the pad manufacturers that are making this are gonna, are gonna understand the technology more and experiment with the technology more and probably have you know, the, actual, the actual construction of this phone, the actual quality of whatever's used is probably higher. But essentially, these seem to work and I can't tell the difference in the quality of the phone on these blue, on these blue SPTA pads. I can see it more on all these bulk standard mega cheap kind of ones they do where I can tell these are a lot softer okay than, than I want them to be but I can still get results with them but having played around and I've bought a lot of these cheap Chinese pads and explored the range these are the best ones I've seen so far these dual dual uh, foam SPTA ones in fact I'm actually really impressed with the cutting pads or re re impressed not really impressed but impressed Okay, now I want to go into the cons, guys. Now, the first con for me is that while as a consumer you might be able to go out there and get these bargains from these Chinese wholesale companies that are probably not as close to the detailing scene as we are or a lot of the companies that are more local, okay? So you can go out there as a consumer and stock up to your heart's content and pay ridiculous sums of money for things which will deliver you results and can, you know, beyond that can actually be good products, okay? The problem is there's a bit of a moral dilemma really about whether or not you should be doing this because there is no way, if I wanted to set up a business tomorrow selling pads in the UK, the forensic formula pads, and I was buying them wholesale and, and punting them out to you, you know, retail price, trying to make a margin in the middle. There's no way I could compete with these guys. And the more people that go and support them, the less successful, I suppose, all the, all the companies are that are, are out there and have been setting up businesses, running businesses, doing this over here, you know. So by supporting these 
kind of Chinese companies that are selling at prices which are unbelievable. How can you buy three of these pants for three quid, including delivery? You know, and they come over in a, on a container from China. It costs got to cost more than three quid to deliver the bloody things. Three quid, including delivery, for three pants. It's ridiculous. Okay, but the, the consequences, there are moral consequences that you are, by supporting that company, you are not supporting local businesses, and if you don't support local businesses, or national businesses, or, or even, you know, other businesses outside of China, let's just say, without, without trying to be racist against the Chinese that are probably just trying to make money like the rest of us. But by not supporting your local um, companies, if you like, they won't be there, okay? If enough of you don't support them and you go and buy these, then you won't have your local companies, and that's not a good thing. So there's a moral, there's a moral dilemma, and some people will listen to that and think, spot on, I'm not buying them. And other people will just think, I don't care, if they're cheap, I'm having them. Um, where do I sit in the middle? Well, I've got some, so I can't, you know, I've got some, but I've also got the good ones as well, and I like the good ones and will continue to buy them. So maybe that's the middle ground, you know, maybe that's the middle ground. Have a few of the, have a few of these cheap ones just to see what they're like, and you can kind of use them and abuse them, and you ain't gonna cry when, when they fall apart on you or they, they run out of their shelf life. Um, so yeah, maybe that's the balance. I don't know. Maybe we could talk about that in the comments about the morality of all of this. The second thing, and the really important thing, okay, there is a difference in quality between these and the premium pads, okay? If there wasn't, I would not be buying those premium pads and I'll be getting all of my pads from ZFE stores on eBay, okay? There's a difference. Okay, there's a big difference in their standard kind of ones where they've copied the hex pattern or they've copied the like the spider cut pattern or they've copied the waffle. But the foam for me is a little bit too soft. And the end result of that is I can see the machine compressing the pad more. I can feel the pad moving around a little bit more underneath me. Um, a bit more marshmallow is the way I like to describe it. In terms of how they hold up, I've had these pads I've had these pads for over a year now, and I must have used them about five or six times. And you know, I don't overuse them within a when I'm working on them. Once I've been used used them for a couple of sets or three or four sets or a section of the car, I'll I'll take them off and I'll switch pads. Okay, so I'm not just going to keep hammering that pad, heating it up, and then sort of eventually you'll you'll start can. The backing plate will start coming away. That's usually the first point of failure, or the pad starts deteriorating the edges around the edges and crumbling and all that sort of stuff. So don't overwork them is the key to maintaining them and clean them well. And we'll talk about we'll do another video on how to clean them. Um, but the, the main thing is that these real cheap ones, they're a little bit on the soft side for me, and that can affect the feel of when I'm working on the paint. So most times if I'm doing full paint correction on a car where I'm really interested in the results, I'll tend to use a pad combo that's a more premium one, okay? And I tend to use these if I've got to quickly do a little bit of polishing work or I want to strip something down or, or whatever I'm doing, but I'm less likely to go with these cheap ones for a full paint correction job on a car. That being said, this particular SPTA dual foam offering I'm pretty impressed with this cutting pad, okay? The polishing pad mm, is okay. Um, it's okay, it's hard to know exactly. It's, it's okay, but I am, this is the first real cheap cutting pad that I've seen that actually feels and behaves like a proper cutting pad that I'm used to, and I was quite impressed with it, okay? This blue blue one, so that, that's a good, good item in my opinion. I want you to try it, guys, because you can pick it up for £3.60 delivered and have a go with it and tell me what you think, okay? One thing I can notice with it that's not as good as the premium pads is the Velcro doesn't make contact quite as tightly as those premium pads. It's a bit more fuzzy, the Velcro, and it's prone to coming away a little bit more. I didn't like that, but still, for the price, that was one of the main weaknesses that I could find, but in terms of the results, it cuts, it cuts well, in my opinion. So you have a million one options from ZFE stores. If you just search the store for polishing pad, you'll find all of this. They've got a very soft finishing pad, which I use sometimes with them for removing product, product removal on cars on the rotary. A nice big pad that I can get over all the panels for. They have these little spot pads, and these are two inch spot pads, and they are not great. But again, they're very, very cheap. And, and again, the small pot spot pad market 
over here in the UK, you'll pay about nine pounds for a two inch spot pad piece of foam. And I really hate that. Um, well, I don't hate's a strong word, but I just, I can't afford to pay that for the spot pads. So these are very soft and marshmallowy, but they do just about work, okay? So I'd encourage you to try these and form your own opinion. And like I say, they've got every format of pad, every different type, every different size. Um, the ones I am recommending, the ones that I think you should try out are these dual foam cutting pads, um, SPTA dual foam cutting pads, link in the description, because they are quite impressive. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching this video. It was just a quick kind of thing on these Chinese pads, because they get talked about a fair old amount. So my general conclusions are, I think you need to carry on supporting the premium pads. There's some pads that I'm gonna be talking about later on this channel, which are really good. Um, a lot more expensive, but a little bit better, and that's important to me. Um, my tip for the day is check out this SPTA dual foam blue cutting pad, 10 of them for 28 quid. £2.80 each. These are pretty impressive, okay, for the price. Some of the other ones, they are dirt cheap, you know, like a pound each if you want to go that way, or £2.80 each if you buy the bundle of 10. That price is a bit weird the way they've done that. Fantastic value, not quite as good for me, and a little bit soft, but I will occasionally use them for sort of small jobs where I don't want to kind of... Um, use my premium pads which isn't often actually you know most of the time you should use what you think's best but that's my opinion guys let me know what yours is if you've got any cheap chinese pad recommendations similar to this or if you don't use them because of moral grounds or you don't care about moral grounds and you just want the cheapest or if you're somewhere in the middle like me where you kind of want to support the the good stuff but try out the cheap stuff as well and you know just build up an opinion on all of it so that is that is cheap chinese pads thank you very much for watching guys and i'll see you soon on the forensics detailing channel